Hi children, today let's discuss about position time graph and how to plot it when the data is given. Before we go into this, I'll just tell you what is a graph. A graph is actually a two-dimensional diagram. It can be deposited connecting two values. A graph will have two axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. Here I have already marked it, this x, x, this is the horizontal axis and y dash, y, y dash, this is a vertical axis. And here we have the origin. When we plot, before plotting, when we give the values, it's always positive values onto the right of x axis and the negative values onto the left of x axis. That is 0x, I mean, O x will have positive values like 1, 2, 3, so on, whereas O x dash will be having negative values like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and all. The same as O y, O y will be having the positive values and O y dash will be having the negative values. Here, when you give values over here, it from O to O, O to y, we will have 1, 2, 3 and so. Whereas O to y dash, it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But when we are plotting the graph, we use only the upper quadrant, that is the positive quadrant here. That I have already drawn over here. I have the x-axis, here O is the origin, and here I have the y-axis. And here there is a question that is for plotting the position time graph, the time given over here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the seconds, these are in seconds. Whereas the position is in meters, that is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. And there is a question over here, this we will discuss later. Now, when we plot the graph, before going on to this particular question, what you have to do is, you have to find out, the, you have to just point out the values. That means, from 0 to x, I have always keep it in mind that we have to plot the time on the x-axis. Here I have the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here I can either write 1, 2, I can plot it as 1, 2, 3. Here I'll show you as 1 for the first one. Here I plot it as 2, here 3, here 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then on the y-axis for the position that is in meters, I plot this as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Okay. Now, from the question, these numbers are only for plotting the graph. Now, here comes 0 and 0. That means at 0 seconds, the position is 0. So, your first point comes out to be here. So, I plug it over here. Then the second one, then go to the second one. Here, it is 1 second. For 1 second, it is 2 meters. Then for 1 second, I just find out where is the 1 second and 2 meters. So, my point comes out to be 1 second, 2 meters. The second one comes to be 2 seconds, 4 meters. So, the 2 is over here and the 4 over here. I'll plot the point here. 3 seconds, it's 6. 4 seconds, it's 8. And 5 seconds, it's 10. So, my plotting of the graph is already over now. Now, what I have to do is, I just have to join the line. When I join the dots over here, I get a straight line. And here, my graph is completed. This is the way to plot a graph. And now I have a second question over here, a question that is find out from the graph the distance traveled by the man in 8 seconds. So in the question, I don't have 8, eight seconds. So that particular thing you have to find out from the graph. 
Now I go for the 8 seconds. Now my 8 seconds is over here, right? I have to find out how much the man travels within 8 seconds. So what I do is, I need an extension over here for this graph. I'll just extend the line. Now for 8 seconds, draw the dotted line till here, okay? This is for the 8 seconds and just on to the y-axis. Connect the dotted line. That means for 8 seconds, the position is 16 meters. Here, so my answer will be for 8 seconds. Man travels, how much? It's 16 meters. Now, when you draw the graph, you have to write the scale. The scale, how you have to write is, you have x-axis and y-axis. Just see, for one unit, how much have you plotted for x-axis and for one unit, how much you have allotted the value. For one unit, for x-axis, it's one second. This is a time, time is in, on the x-axis and for one unit it is one second. Whereas for the y-axis, my one unit which I have marked is two. One unit is from zero to two. This is one unit over here. And so from zero to two, this is two meters. So for my x-axis, it's one unit is equal to one second and for y-axis it's one unit is two meter and here we have plotted a graph for the position time graph this is a position time graph for the given data